Hello and welcome to another adventure here on my channel. Today I want to discuss BH Cosmetics filing for bankruptcy because I saw Angelica Nequist, I am so sorry if I'm mispronouncing that, her video on the topic, I'll have it linked down in the description, and realized I wanted to talk about it too because in her video she really focused on why she thinks BH is struggling financially and I more want to focus on the effect I think this will have on the beauty community and fans of BH Cosmetics. So if you have not heard before, BH Cosmetics has filed for, I believe, believe it's chapter 11 bankruptcy and now I am not a lawyer, I am not a business person, I do not know the ins and outs of this, but from what I understand, this does not necessarily mean that BH Cosmetics is closing down. It could mean that they will try some other way to save the company and continue on, that they may downsize the company and still try to continue on, that they may try to sell the company to someone else that may continue on the company, or that they may very well shut down, or there may be other options that I just don't know about. But from what I understand, and it does not necessarily mean BH Cosmetics is going away, but it also really doesn't look good and it seems like a very real possibility that BH Cosmetics could go away, go the way of Becca and go out of business completely. Now I am someone who loves BH Cosmetics. I got my first BH palette this summer for my birthday, so I got it in July, and now I own um, 10 of them. I have acquired 10 BH eyeshadow palettes, which I counted is exactly one-fifth of my whole eyeshadow palette collection. I own 50 eyeshadow palettes and 10 of them are BH because BH has very, very quickly become my favorite eyeshadow formula. I used my favorite palette by them, the 90s Dance Remix, for this look today and it it just reminded me why I love this formula so, so freaking much. It is so good, so pigmented, so blendable, just all the things you would want in an eyeshadow formula in this formula is affordable, is decent packaging. Like I really love this brand. I love what they do, especially with eyeshadow. So when I first started noticing that their end of year sale was going on a little too long, the deals were a little too steep, like they were very, very good deals and it didn't seem to be ending. I, I got a little suspicious. I was like, what's going on? I got a little nervous that the brand may be going out of business. And I did go ahead and decide to make one final BH order of things that I had been looking at for a while, had been considering for a while, but just hadn't pulled the trigger on because they were on sale and I was nervous that they may go out of business. So I got their low key love you eyeshadow palette from the Say It collection and the Doja Cat Flora blush in Peony. And I have not regretted making this purchase. I am glad I made this purchase because I've really enjoyed the products. And like I've said, I've kind of been thinking about buying them for a while. I decided against buying the eyeshadow palette, but I never quite lost that desire for it. And then when I saw the Doja Cat blush palette in Ulta and saw how interesting these shades of blush are, I knew I wanted to pick this up. So I was on the lookout for this and I had never quite lost my love of this palette, that little spark of desire for this palette. So, so I'm not sad or disappointed that I made this purchase. I've been really enjoying these products. But the fact is, if I had not suspected that BH might be going out of business soon or something like this was happening, I probably would not have ordered them quite yet when I did. I might have because they were on such a good sale, but I feel like this purchase was very much made with the worry that they were going out of business. And now that I hear it's bankruptcy, not full going out of business, part of me is glad because I'm like, yay, hopefully this can work out and I can continue purchasing products from this brand whose products I love so much. But part of me went, oh, this is just going to extend that feeling for fans of BH that the end could come any minute, so buy what you can while you can get it. And I don't necessarily think that is a good thing because say, for the sake of argument in this video, BH Cosmetics is 100%, they are definitely going out of business. Why does that matter? Because to me as a person, what I'm losing is the ability to purchase products that I know I like. I am losing this eyeshadow formula, but not really, because I'm not completely losing this eyeshadow formula and that I will never be able to use this eyeshadow formula again, because I already have it. It is already in my collection, and sure, 
makeup goes bad, there is a bit of an expiration date, but it's not like I will not have access to this formula for a long time to come. The feeling kind of reminds me of how rich people talk about losing money. When rich people say they're losing money, they don't actually mean they're losing money like you or I would say, oh, I'm losing money by, you know, having to spend money on groceries and stuff while not while unemployed and not making money. Like that's not losing money to them. When they say they're losing money, they mean they are not able to make more money. So I feel like the feeling of, oh no, I am losing this eyeshadow formula is actually like I am losing being able to purchase more of it in the future, not actually the feeling of, oh my gosh, I am losing it now. And it feels like, oh, I am losing it now when what I really mean is, oh, I won't be able to purchase it in the future. I hope that makes sense. It's not really, truly leaving my life. And even if it did, so what? I feel like as makeup lovers, we really do have this emotional connection to our favorite brands. I know I do. If BH, ColourPop, uh, Revolution, C Color, Kaleidos, all the things I think of as these are my group of favorite brands, if they all went out of business at the same time or any one of them went out of business, I would be emotionally upset by that. I'm not saying I'd be devastated, but I'd feel like sad. I would feel sad about it. And the more I reflect on that, the more I think that's weird because genuinely when Becca went out of business, when I saw the announcement, I was like, who cares? Sucks if you love their products, but this doesn't affect me. So why should I care? But I feel like I should have that same energy towards BH. It's not this big emotional thing. And I'm not saying it was. I may be being a little hyperbolic with the reaction I've seen from the community, but I do feel like there is a sense of sadness of losing something that's kind of important because I think of myself as someone who buys from BH Cosmetics. I think of myself as a BH consumer. And if they go out of business, I lose that aspect of my identity as a makeup consumer and as a makeup YouTuber. Because you guys know I like and use BH Cosmetics. You guys have messaged me about BH Cosmetics. You guys have messaged me when they have launched new things, asking if I'm gonna pick stuff up. You've tagged me in launches. And you guys have reached out and messaged me and it's through one of you guys that I found out about this bankruptcy filing. So it has become a part of my identity, at least my social media Sarah Jo identity, that I am a consumer of BH Cosmetics. And that's what I feel like the sadness of losing is more coming from rather than the mild disappointment that, oh, I'm not going to be able to buy my favorite eyeshadow formula anymore. And I don't really think it's a good thing to base even a small bit of identity on the brands we purchase objects from. I think that is definitely a part of capitalism I am critical of, but it's still something I do because it's what my society has taught me to do. And I feel like those combined emotions make it very easy for people who are fans of BH Cosmetics to over-purchase BH right now because we're worried we'll never get the opportunity to again. Even after I made this purchase, since this has happened, that I found out for sure they're filing for bankruptcy and that's a really bad sign that they may be going out of business very soon. Part of me has gone, I should also get the Optimistic AF palette. It's one of the Say It collection and I've looked at it before and gone, yeah, I like it, but not really, not really what I'm looking for. But part of me is like, well, you liked it. This may be your last chance to get more of that formula in your collection, you should do it. But I shouldn't. And I feel like with I feel like 2022, we're gonna see a lot of brands go under because there's just too much makeup and the makeup market has shrunk considerably during COVID, but just the general trend, the boom is kind of over and only the best brands are gonna survive. And even though I think BH is one of the best, that doesn't mean everyone else agrees with me and that's fine. But I think this feeling of, oh no, this is my last chance to purchase from my favorite brand is gonna happen for a lot of people and it's going to become this excuse 
to over purchase makeup that we don't really need. And I've been trying to confront my own consumerism for the past several years now. I've really turned to a I call it minimalist. Again, it's not really aesthetic minimalist, it's philosophy minimalist. I have a video where I explain the difference down in the description. I'll try to remember to link it up up here. But I've tried to embrace a minimalist philosophy. I've tried to only bring in items that I really love and enjoy. I've tried to not bring in too many items with my year of less stuff project. And now I'm doing a budget to adjust my relationship with money. So I've been trying to confront my own consumerism. And I feel like a lot of people in the makeup community in particular have been working on not over purchasing makeup because it was so common in the 2015, 2016, even 2017 era of YouTube where it was very much like, yes, buy everything, buy it all. And now we're like, you know, maybe I don't actually need every single eyeshadow palette that comes out. Maybe I don't actually need every single eyeshadow palette that comes out from my favorite brand. And I feel like this, oh no, they're going out of business, get it while I can mentality could influence people to not stick to their goals and that work that they have been doing, not over purchasing makeup. So here is my advice for if your favorite makeup brand goes out of business or looks like it's going to go out of business. So here is how I talk myself down from buying the Optimistic AF palette, even though I did make one last order. And the first piece of advice is it is okay to make one last order, but be honest with yourself. What would you have been interested in otherwise? If this was not happening and the brand just had a good sale or even better, didn't have any sales going on, what would you be genuinely interested in purchasing otherwise? Take a look at those items, look at your budget, look at how much makeup you've been buying and see if it's okay for you to purchase them. Cause it may also just be okay to go, you know what? I'm done. I don't need these items. I can let it go. That's fine as well. But I don't think you should feel guilt for wanting to make one last order. Just make sure that one last order makes financial and spatial sense. Like make sure you have the space in your collection to store it and all of that. Like make sure it's a sound logical purchase outside of just, oh no, I want to order from this brand again. But besides that, the main piece of advice I can give you that worked best for me is just there is other makeup. There will always be other makeup. Just because my current favorite is going out of business or they stopped making my current favorite product doesn't mean I won't find something that I like even more in the future. Because I've been saying that BH is my favorite eyeshadow formula because it has been for a long time, but even before this, it had already been unseated by Viseart. I got my first Viseart palette and this new favorite eyeshadow formula. So I already found a replacement for my favorite eyeshadow formula before I even knew this was happening. I had already moved on from that and I wasn't even trying to. So it's okay to be mildly disappointed that your favorite thing is going out of production, your favorite brand is closing down. I know if Revlon stops making their Candid concealer, I'm gonna be slightly frustrated, but I'll find another concealer eventually. Maybe it'll take several tries, but I'll find one that works just as well, if not better than this, because there's never going to be a shortage of concealer options. Enough people do buy makeup regularly that there's always going to be brands. There is always going to be new products. You will have other favorites in the future. And by reminding myself that even though I love BH's formula, there are other eyeshadow formulas I love, some that I either just discovered or have yet to discover that I may love more, it's fine. It is fine if my favorite products go out of production, I will use what I have and move on. I know it kind of sucks, I'm a little disappointed, but it really doesn't matter. It is just a corporation. The corporation does not care about me. They make a product I like and that's it. So I don't have to be emotionally invested in them succeeding or failing. I can just go, okay, I'm a little disappointed that this thing I like is not going to be accessible to me anymore and move it along. But at the end of this video here real quick, I do want to talk about what I think BH Cosmetics should have done because honestly, their marketing at the end there was questionable. Like they 
bet their money on celebrity collabs to save their brand with the Iggy Azalea and Doja Cat collabs. Celebrity collabs to save your brand don't make sense at all to me, especially because their hero product is eyeshadow. And unlike Angelica Nyquist, who talked about how she didn't think eyeshadow should have been their hero product, I don't think that's a bad thing. I don't think having a super solid eyeshadow formula as your hero main product, the thing people know you for and come to you for, is a bad thing. Because isn't that what made ABH the darling of social media beauty community for a long time, is everyone really loved their eyeshadow palettes and their formula? You just have to market to people who purchase a lot of eyeshadow palettes regularly. Because I think your average makeup consumer, let's say to be generous, they buy one eyeshadow palette per year. But the type of person who buys one eyeshadow palette, uses it until they use it up or until it gets to the point where all their favorite shades are gone and all of that, it's past what they use it for. And then they get rid of that, buy a new eyeshadow palette. Let's say that takes a year. So your hero product is an eyeshadow palette. Even if those people fall in love with your formula and it's the one they come back to over and over and over again, you're still only getting them to purchase that product once a year. That's not gonna save your brand or make you profits or any of that. But people like me who in six months have acquired 10 of their eyeshadow palettes, people in the beauty community who are heavy purchasers of makeup, that's who you want to market to because then when they come back to your brand over and over and over again, it's going to be much more frequently. But the fact that they went with big celebrity collabs instead of sending everyone PR, like big channels, medium-sized channels, smaller channels, maybe not even as small as me, but just get PR into people's hands, who is on the BHPR list? No idea. No idea who's on the BHPR list. That's a problem. Like, I would say even oversend PR. Become that brand that just like, okay, we get it. Everyone has PR from you just to get the word out about your products. Because you have an amazing eyeshadow formula, so if you get it in the hands of the taste makers, the influencers, more people are going to find out about that and want to try your brand. I only wanted to try BH's eyeshadow formula because Angelica Nyquist loved it. Why was she not on the PR list? Why did she not get a collab? Like, what BH should have done, instead of doing two huge celebrity collabs, get 12 mid-sized influencers and be like, you're gonna have a collab. It's gonna be in this certain type of packaging, like their uh, travel series packaging, but you get to pick the theme, you get to pick the cover, you get to pick the shades on the inside, and every month on the first of the month, we're gonna release an influencer collab. Why didn't they do that? That also would have cost them less money because then they, uh, the influencer would just get a percentage of the sales instead of probably paid up front like the celebrities did. Like, I know social media marketing isn't everything, but the consumer they needed to target are the people who social media beauty content is important to. Like that, that's who they needed to target. And it would have been so much cheaper of them to market to that demographic through PR, influencer collabs, even sponsored posts and stuff, instead of paying celebrities a crap ton of money to do mediocre collaborations when it just doesn't make a lot of sense. So that's what I think they did wrong. If they are going to try to save the brand, that's how I think they're going to have to do it. But I don't know if they're going to do it. And the choices they made already to try to save the brand don't give me confidence that they would make the choices that would, I think, in the long run pay off for the brand. Like they've already fumbled the ball. I don't see them really coming back from it. So I really do think BH is shutting down for good pretty soon. They might have like, I don't know, one or two more collections, but I'd be very surprised if we still see them in 2023. I'd be happy because like I said, I like their formula, but I just, I, I don't have emotional investment. And that's what I need to not have. So this is just a corporation trying to get my money like any other. And there are a ton more of them. With that, thank you so, so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. Let me know, do you love BH? Have you tried the BH formula? What is a brand that you would be kind of sad if they 
went out of business, like what is that brand for you? I would love to hear your thoughts. Thank you so, so much for watching and I will see you all next time.